Ta-da! It, it's just me in front of a whiteboard. I can't, I can't make this any more exciting, I've just discovered. I'm Nick from Transform My Poker. Welcome to this video called Can You Crack Poker While Having a Day Job? Now, this is a real world problem, right? How do you combine working 40 or 50 hours a week at a job or at a college course or running a house or whatever it is you do in the real world in your life with getting better at poker and getting great results from poker? It's really tough. I've struggled with it myself. Um, running a training business and having broadcast commitments and doing other things as well as trying to keep on top of my poker game. And the reality we all face is that poker rewards the time you invest in it and it's a very time consuming thing and yet it doesn't fit well with day to day life. So what can we do about that? I've got five pointers for you which are going to really help you out. Number one is getting clear outcomes. So get your outcomes clear. When I say, can you crack poker? That's really gonna depend on what you want from poker. And that's gonna be an answer for you, a personal answer, right? You may want one day to become a professional player. You might one day to want to have a reliable second income from poker. Maybe you just wanna play once a week, but be a really good once a week player and be able to compete with people that are playing every day. Whatever the outcome is for you, you need to be absolutely clear about it. And it needs to be an outcome that you can fit with your day-to-day -day life and your other commitments. So after this video, or right now, pause the video, and just have a think about what you really want from poker over the next six months, year, and for the rest of your life. And then think about how you're gonna get it and make sure it's congruent, that it fits in with the rest of your life. Either you've got to change your poker, if it doesn't, you've either got to change your poker goals or you've got to change something else in the rest of your life to give more time for poker. But make sure you're not in denial about this and giving yourself no chance to be happy in either world. All right, number two is study time. Study time. Now I'm aware that when I say the word study, you might glaze over a little bit and think, wake me up when you stop talking about doing homework because I don't like that. And that's fair enough. Studying poker is nowhere near as much fun as playing poker. I completely get that. But the reality is, if all you're doing is playing, you're gonna be doing what you've always done, because that's what you know to do, and you're gonna be learning through trial and error, and that is the slowest possible way to learn anything. So we don't want that, because we've got limited time, we wanna maximize our progression and how uh, good we get. So you need to work on your game away from the table. You need to look back at hands you've played and analyze them. You need to think about your weaknesses and get help with them. You need to get more information, learn what's working in the games right now, learn what the more successful players are doing so you can put it into your game and so on. That's how you get real progress. In fact, we're gonna change study to progress, progress time. Make sure you've got progress time every week uh, that you're spending thinking about and working on your game because if you're not, you can't improve quickly. And now number three, which is a tip to help you with your progress time, and it's net time, net time. You probably thought there's only one kind of time before you watch this video, it turns out it's loads. Um, net time is uh, no extra time. So this means using time that you're using for not very much to improve your poker. Um, it's a little bit of a mirage because obviously, you know, you are focusing on one thing or the other, but you can use little clumps of time during your day to actually work on your poker game. Maybe you watch a training video before you go to work. Uh, maybe in a break you read a chapter of a poker book or listen to a podcast. Maybe you listen to uh, an audio interview or a training, uh, training content at the gym. Um, it's about maximizing the time you spend thinking about poker and really immersing yourself in getting better. And believe me, those 10 minutes, we have this motto, right? Something is always better than nothing. Those 10 minutes of learning that you get in your lunch break or on your journey to work or whenever it is, you can get one nugget that you then go and put into your game and get some improvement from. Any small improvement is improvement. And if you wanna get better quickly, you wanna be maximizing the time you're spending improving on your poker. Number four is absolutely vital if you're gonna combine poker with a real world job or other commitments, and that is A-game sessions. A-game sessions. This is the number one mistake I think people make if they're trying to be good at poker, but also have another job or a commitment or whatever. They just play for the sake of playing and they don't play A-game sessions. So I'm sure you can relate. Maybe you've had a job at work or studying at college or whatever it is. You finally get free of it. You've had your dinner, or whatever. You log on to play or you go to your card room and play. You start playing and you just play for as long as you possibly can. You probably get to bed too late. You don't get enough sleep. You're rubbish the next day, whatever. Um, that's not a good way to succeed at poker because you're not focused, you're not energized, you're not thinking clearly. 
the way that you'll do well, both in terms of your results and how you get better, is by increasing the amount of time you're playing your A game. By your A game, I mean the best that you can be. Focused, clear thinking, determined to win, calm, patient, analytical, all of that good stuff. And it's really hard to do that if you're tired, if you're pissed off from work, if you're annoyed about something in your life, uh, whatever. Those are the things that make it really hard to do. I would rather, in terms of you getting better, you played one amazing session of 90 minutes where you're really focused on the cash game or sit and go, or whatever, um, and really, really focused and played really, really well, than play six hours on autopilot where you're not going to improve and you're not going to give yourself a chance of getting good results. So think about how you're playing. Maybe put these sessions in your schedule, in your diary, and commit to them so you know when you're going to be able to be refreshed and energized and focused just on poker. Um, and try and increase the amount of A-game sessions you play and try and decrease the amount of time you play tired or you play on autopilot. And if you do come to a time you want to play and you feel tired and you're honest with yourself that you're not going to be able to play well, just drop down in limits and play a game for fun, right? It doesn't always have to be serious, but when you are serious, you need to play well. So that's the number one thing you should take from this video if you want to do well. Play more A-game sessions when you're playing your best. And finally, get great help. So get great help. Um, this is critical if you've got limited time and you want a shortcut getting better at poker. Um, like I said, the slowest way to do anything is trial and error, basically finding out for yourself. The quickest way to do anything is to model someone successful. So take someone successful and copy what they do. And there's lots of ways to do this. You can uh, become active on a poker forum. You can join a discussion group. You could take a poker course, maybe one of mine, maybe someone else's. You could join a video trading site, maybe one of mine, maybe someone else's. You could hire a one-on-one -on -one coach, right, to have focused coaching sessions. You could get a mentor that plays in your games and does better than you. You could just watch other successful players and shortcut uh, by getting what they do and putting it in your game. Whatever you do, it's absolutely vital to get great help and not try and do this on your own. This video is about having limited time but still wanting success in poker. So the number one way to spend that limited time if you want that success is on getting this ultimate shortcut. Can't recommend it enough. This is how you're going to do better than everybody else, better than the competition and improve quickly. So please get some great help to shortcut what you're doing. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been a good break from your normal day-to-day -day life and it's got you ready to play some poker and kick some behind. <laughs> That's what we say in England, some butt. Um, <laughs> make myself laugh. Uh, all right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a like uh, on YouTube. Subscribe, do subscribe, because then you'll find out when these videos are getting released, which is regularly. You'll get lots of good strategy and training help. And if you would like to get some help, uh, and improve your poker quickly, then hit me up on this link. You'll come over to my website, transformypoker.com. You can enter your email and sign up and I will send you a free set of advanced training to get you those shortcuts and that help that you need to get more consistent results and play with more confidence. All right, have fun out there. I can't wait to talk to you in another video very soon.